So today I will show you how you can package your games in Unreal Engine 5 for your Android device. So I will show you the complete process how you can properly pack your game in Unreal Engine 5. First you have to need to install few things. So first you have to go to the website of Android uh, developers. So you will get this type of option Android Studio and then you will get something like this. So in this one you have to download this one download Android Studio Ladybug. You have to just go down and then you have to click on download. So this is 1.1 GB. When your download is finished, you have to install that. So after installation, you will see this type of interface. So in this one, you have to click on this more option and then this one SDK manager and you will see something like this. And if your SDK location is not set, then you have to click on edit and you have to set your SDK location and you have to install this one. So by default, it will be in your C drive user and your app data local files and you don't have to change this. Maybe it can create some issues. So just leave this thing default and then install this next and then install. So when you install this one, you will see that it will show you the location there. So after that, what you have to do, you have to just go there and you have to enable these things. You have to enable this Trimisia privacy sandbox 13, 13, 13, 12. So before 8, you have to enable everything. And if you want to make sure that your game is playable on Android 4.1 version also, then you can take everything. But I will recommend you to just go with the start with Oreo 8.0 and then you can leave that thing till Android uh, TV, Missy, Primacy, Sandbox, or whatever. And you can enable this one also. I think this one is enabled by default, so you can leave that. And after this, you have to go to the SDK tool and you have to install the SDK now. So in the SDK, you will not gonna see this type of things. You have to enable show package detail, and then you have to go and you have to enable 33.01, 30.03. You don't have to enable these things. You have to just enable 33.01 and you can leave everything and you have to go down and in the NDK version you have to select 25.1.893 this one and this one 21.4.700 uh, and 21.1. this one so you have to enable this three and in the android sdk command line tool you have to enable everything and in the c make you have to enable 3.221 and 3.10 and you i think this one is enabled by default android emulator and sdk platform tools and you can leave everything like this and then you have to press apply and then okay so it will download everything so it's gonna take around uh, 7 to 8 gb of your hard drive space so make sure that you have enough hard drive space in your c drive after that you need to install another thing and that is called java and you have to go there you will see this type of websites and in the java archive you have to go there and you have to install java se 17 so in this one you will see that there we have a windows x64 installer you have to download this and you will get the file of that thing before installing that thing you have to make sure that you press control uh, uh sorry not control windows plus r to uh pop out your cmd and then you have to write cmd there and then you have to press ok and in this one you have to just write java space dash version when you press enter if you're getting this type of thing like 17.0.1 it means your java is already installed you don't need to install most probably you will not get anything it will show that no identity detected something like that so it means you need to install your java program not program the java setup so this is the java file you will get you have to double click and open this one you will see something like that in my system it is already installed so i will just press no so you can see the software has already been installed on your computer would you like to reinstall so you have to install that thing and after installing everything you can just press again windows plus r write cmd there and press ok and you can just write that java to check that if it is installed properly or not so java version and you will see something like that java 17.0.1 so after doing this thing your setup is done now you can properly package your game so i will just show you some settings so that you can package your android game properly so you can see if i click on play uh, this is a small android game so this is the control so i will just show you how you can pack this so you have to go to the edit and you have to go to the project setting and the project setting you have to just go down and you will see a option of android so in this one you will see a red logo or something like that you have to just press the option there in the right side and it will on green like this and in this two options you have to make this thing 33 and you have to just go down and and this one also you have to click the button and it will turn green this one is done you have to go to the android sdk option and you have to set your sdk location to set your sdk location go to your search and search for android you will get this android studio option and in this one go to more action sdk manager and then you have to just copy this location of your sdk and then just click on this three button 
and then you have to just go and paste there and you will be in your sdk folder you have to just select folder and it will set your sdk folder the second one is the ndk you have to click on that one and in the ndk one you have to paste the same thing and you will get the ndk option also so you have to click on ndk and you have to select version 25.1 and then you have to select folder and last thing you have to select java one so the most probably you will get your java files in your program files so go to c drive then you have to go to program files search for java you will get this java file and then java uh, GDK Java GDK 17 you have to open that and then you have to select folder so when everything is selected you have to just go to this one and you have to make the number 33 by default it will be in I think 26 or something like that you have to convert that thing to 33 maybe you will get some kind of error so make this thing 33 and one more setting you have to enable and that is if you go to your android option you have to enable this one also package game dot epk if this one is disabled it will not convert your file into a epk uh, that means you can't install that thing in your phone so yeah after that you can just go to android package project select your directory select folder and then you will see in the right corner that your packaging is started it can take some time depending on your game how big your game is and how good your pc and your network is and it will pack everything into a apk file and then you can install that apk file in your phone and then you can play your game so yeah i think this will help you thank you for watching